I'm being joined tonight by Senator Ali Indume. He's the chairman, Senate Committee on the Army, and representing the, uh, the they will say the good people of Bruno North. Thank you so much, uh, Senator for Bruno South. Bruno South, apologies. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on, tonight, and it's good to see you. I think it's the first time I'm seeing you this year. After the election. Uh, after the election. Did this year? Before the election? Yeah. We said before I the think election. So. All right. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I mean, you see what is playing out. Uh, first, let me start by asking you about the election because I think we spoke before the election. Over and what, 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 what is the outcome exactly the way you thought it could be? Yeah, but um, there were some. Uh, actually, there were surprises. Mm. Some places. Which of the results surprised you? Lagos, Southeast, and. Um, Southeast surprised you? Yeah. You thought your party could, or PDP could do anything in Southeast? No, not really. The performance of uh, LP, actually. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's actually above my expectation. So they did way above. You never thought that Peter Obi could pull that string? Yeah. General, even in the general election, all over, especially, you know. He had uh, six million votes. It's almost seven million. Yeah, six point. So it's it's a, uh, but it indicates uh, it goes to tell something that people really don't talk about, mm. and that is to say, I think the signs are out there that the middle, um, middle income group, or social group, and the youths are getting tired of the. <clears throat> do I even include myself? At the upper level, you know, 70s, 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, who have been in the corridors of power since they were 30. You have been? Yeah, I've been in the National Assembly for 20 years, but not because I'm directly involved. The National Assembly does, you know, the, the, the quality of work in the National Assembly depends on the number of people who have the experience or ranking. That's why right now in the U.S. Senate, the oldest senator have been there for 43 years. Joe Biden was in the Senate for 31, 32 years. And um, the ranking plays a great role there because we are legislators. But in the executive, you need people that are youthful, that are young, that have the energy, to to do to execute so so i mean uh, i mean i'm going to come to national assembly politics so your candidate was declared the winner yeah although a lot of uh, reactions have failed it people some people are not happy some of your supporters are happy uh, and you've seen some of the reactions what what do you make of them the nigerians have spoken you see we are trying to hype up trivialities like religion like tribe but an ordinary Nigerian, don't buy into that. And that election results have shown that too. You think so? Yeah. I mean, because, because uh, there are those who have analyzed that uh, uh, religion, the same religion uh, um, strategy of your party appears to have worked in your region, for example, in the Northeast. Perhaps uh, the reason why your party performed and in some part of the Northwest in that, in that regard. Yeah, I can say to, the, to some extent, but overall, in the overall, <laughs> our party that is, you know, tagged as Muslim, Muslim or a Muslim party, one in the southeast, one some seats in, we have how many senators from southeast? We have senators from southeast. We have senators from south-south. And we have senators from north central. There is no region or geopolitical zone that we, the APC didn't have a candidate. Did, have we learned any lesson, I mean, at all? If there are the, the, the cleavages of this country has been widened by some of these very dirty parts of politics, I mean, have, have we as a people come out to learn any lesson at all? No, we have not. Especially politicians are banking on this to the extent that the democracy, to me now, democracy in Nigeria doesn't exist. Because I have um, once said it or twice here that the whole polity, democracy, has been taken over by kleptocrats and plutocrats, and now religion and tribal sentiments have been placed in it, putting democracy itself, that is government of the people, for the people, and by the people, have been put in the background. And this, those, those kleptocrats and plutocrats 
and then the the tribal uh, this thing and the, the religious you find people going now instead of going to the public to complain they go to churches they go to malams to go and campaign and this and people can blame blame you and your friends for that who you are, are the ones playing the politics who are my friends well, you are I mean, a politician I mean, yeah politicians are always <clears throat> from the public we're not from the moon politicians are from the public a politician is like you maybe because you are not in politics because you didn't have the chance to be no, not because I don't want. You don't want don't to be a politician. It's because I don't want no, to. This is, I'm comfortable doing what I'm doing. So I'm a comfort. I'm comfortable being a politician too. Oh, you guys. So why should your, you now come class, here and tell me that my own that I'm doing where is is not good and I didn't complain about your own? No, no. The question is that you are the one raising the fact that you are your, your again. colleagues. Let's not get off the track. No, well, the track is that the things that have been done. You, I mean, during this election, mm -hmm. which you said. They are bad elements yeah. of our policy. And, people are trying and I'm to. I'm saying that have we learned any lesson? As a no, people? we have not. That's what I'm saying. And people are emphasizing on this. Somebody was telling me just this morning because, or was it yesterday, when I told him I was coming for this year program? I say, is this in Nigeria? He's tired. He said, if you go to America, religion is not there playing any role or where you come from. Uh, Hillary Clinton was at one time from one state and then she moved over to New York to become a senator. Uh, and uh, somebody in those days when we were not civilized, the first mayor in the southeast was a Hausa man. And at one time, a, a, a Kanuri man came to Benue because he couldn't get tickets in, in, in Borno. He contested in Benue State and he was a member of Hausa. Uh, I mean, the candidate of your party, Bala Tunobu, will be taking over as the next president. Yeah. I mean, to fix some of these sentiments have largely divided uh, the Nigerian people. What would you suggest that he should do immediately to fix these cleavages? Immediately he takes over, he should be the Bola Tunubu that I know. Which Married is? to a Christian, had a, when he was in government, had Christians, Muslims, Igbos and in his cabinet. That means he, was, he can be able to carry Nigerians along. And I think he has already naturally started. He has a wife that is not only a Christian but a pastor. So would you say now Tunubu will not like Christians or will not be fair to Christians? They will have a problem right in his bedroom. So the problem is solved. How can you say just because Tunubu is a, is a, is a Muslim? Oh, he's a Muslim and they uh, know he's about a Christian. It's a personal something. It's personal. Okay, supposing Tunubu decides to be a Christian tomorrow, everybody will shut up, right? Or me as my, myself, my mother is a Christian. She died as a Christian. My 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 my, my brothers, sisters, you know, siblings are Christians. She might be a Christian someday. Is oh. it possible you? Me? No, no, no. No, I'm a Muslim. Okay. I don't have problem with Christians. <laughs> that's <why. laughs> And it's your personal. Because uh -huh. your, the issue of your faith is personal. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it should not be an issue of faith. It's not, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the real sense of it. Uh, should religion and ethnicity be part of our politics? That's no, no. a largely that that's a major factor, this and that we should we, we need to. But Senator, do you know that they also? Do, do you know why they do in America and they are actually they don't talk about religion? If you are talking about religion, go to church, go to mosque. In the university, I went to school in America. You ha, you don't see mosque in the university, no uh, church in the university. No prayers. Every time here in Nigeria, you start with prayers, you close with prayers. So we're looking at uh, the conversations now in your party predominantly because your party now holds. Let's let's take a look at uh, how the political parties stand in the National Assembly. Your party holds a majority in the in the in both chambers of the National Assembly, albeit at different figures compared to 2019 and 2015. Um, even, even, sir. I think 57. Yeah. So in the Senate, for example, out of the 109 seats, uh, this is where we have 102 seats so far declared uh, pending the, the completion of the other elections in some other parts of the country. So APC has 55 seats that we know as of now. PDP 33. Uh, yes. Labour Party 8. NNPT NMPP 2, SDP 2, ABGA 1, YPP 1. So let's switch to the House of Reps. The House of Reps, out of the 360 seats, 326 so far declared that we know, 160 uh, seats uh, for the APC, P 
PDP as 105, Labour Party 34, NNPP 18, APGA 4, SDP 2, ADC 2, YPP 1. The most colorful National Assembly since uh, uh, Nigeria returned to the Fourth Republic in 1999. But there are other contentions in all of these. Uh, those who are jostling and that we know for now for the different positions in the Senate and the House of Reps. These are some of the names that have come up so far. Senator, look at them. In the Senate, we have Oju Uzokalu uh, from Abia State, Jibrin Barrao from Kano, the only senator of the APC in Kano, Senator Sani Musa from North Central Region of Niger State, Gazu Akpabio from the South Central Region of uh, um, Akwaibom, Dave Umahi, the sitting governor of of Ebony State, Osita Ezunaso is one of the three. Ever, all the senators in Imo State are ranking senators, including Osita Ezunaso, Hamelawan, the sitting Senate President, Abdulaziz Yari, former uh, Governor of uh, Zamfara. His name has also come on the plate. Why now, didn't you put my name? Are, are you, do you want also to be Senate President? No, who else? I'm um, in the Senate. I'm elected, and uh, at one time I contested. So, who, who, why didn't you put my name? Because nobody knows you want to run, except if you say you are running now. Oh, you you think I should not run? No, I don't think. You should, I, I don't think. I don't. No, I don't no, have I'm an asking opinion. you this question. I don't have an opinion, Senator. No, you, look, look, you must have an opinion. Yeah, I will ask you about, about <laughs> your ambition, though. Oh, anyway, Let's the speech. Why don't you just put my name? You want us to put your name? Yeah, officially. Officially, I don't understand that. That means that well, it's I mean, did Amin Lawan tell you he want to contest? That's what we understand. No, so you didn't understand that I can contest? No, I've not heard. No. Oh, I, I think you are not being fair. No, 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 but if you say you're running, I, I'm, I could then, I'm, I'm, then ask my colleagues to put your name on that. No, anyway, I think that is what we come to discuss. All right. So look at the uh, the speakership. Yeah. Okay. And these are those who are who want to be. Benjamin Kalu uh, from Abia State, Tajuddin Abbas, uh, Ali Betara, Yusuf Gagdi, a 42-year-old uh, former uh, lawmaker in uh, uh, Plateau State who is now uh, a ranking, it will be a ranking uh, a member of the House in the, in the House of Reps, Yusuf Gagdi from Plateau State, North Central, Sada Soli, Sani Jaji, and in fact, there is a missing name, Abdul Rahim Olawi from Kuala State, North and Central And there is a region. bigger missing name there too. Wh which one is that? Uh, the, uh, what is his name? Um, Wase. Who is the deputy? Idris Wase. Wase has started going missing. around. No, no, Idris Wase is, an, is a prominent well, now name. Now I can understand. List. Maybe you are even eliminating those that you like him. That's an omission <laughs> from some of our colleagues, which will be fixed. Though. But, Senator, uh, are you, do you want to be Senate President? I, I, I tried to be Senate President twice. And um, this is what we need to discuss about the leadership mm. of, the, of, the, of the National Assembly. It is not about people just throwing in their heart for, for it. This is the National Assembly that is supposed to be an institution to oversight the executive. And therefore, the leadership should be based on certain criteria. Especially in, in the emergence of leadership, one of the criteria normally is experience, and that is what we call the ranking. But considering the political scenario of today, you just don't put that as the famous thing. And uh, besides, as these people came out rightly, they have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. The party said that we should hold on. There should be more of consultation than actually pronouncement that I want to contest. And uh, of course, if I say I want to contest and the party said, no, it's not fair to for it to, uh, for the Senate president to come from the north or northeast, uh, then do you just now say, oh, okay, you want to contest and uh, against the wish of the party, which we did at one time, uh, and uh, the, 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 the result or the aftermath was, you know, a bit clumsy and we don't want to have a repetition of that. So we are holding on till the party decides. If the party zones to the north, as they did in the, in, in the case of presidency, where the governors and the party at one time said it should be from the south. And that's that what led to the emergence of uh, our current president-elect. If the party says that the, the, the Senate president should come from a particular zone, we have to look at it and see whether it is fair 
take a decision. Which region do you think would be fair? You have, and perhaps there is an, yet another graphic element that I like to show Nigerians of how things are right now. The, uh, the president is from the southwest. Mm. The vice president elect is from the northeastern region of the country. In your own experience, where do you think that the Senate president and the House Speaker should come from? For me, the leadership of the National Assembly should be open. The first instance. Open. Yeah. And we then, should not consider the interests of other regions that well, are not every, captured. Uh, every, uh, look, the, the Senate president is not supposed to be a regional president. It's a Senate president of the Nigerian Senate in the United States, and that is the democracy we are trying to copy, and that is not what we are actually fully practicing. The vice president is constitutionally the Senate president. They have what they call Senate president pro tempo. That is the person who presides on the daily basis anytime the senators are sitting. It's normally the most senior. Then you have the Senate leader. That Senate leader is also based on seniority. They don't talk about where you come from. In the Congress, that is the House of Representatives, and the same thing here. Normally seniority plays a role too, but the, the leadership in there is more open. That's why I think they had uh, their election seven times or more yeah. before. For the, for, to agree, to eventually agree, because they, they didn't come, quite come to the uh, to the number Ma. that which uh, that is lawfully agreed for uh, uh, the leader to appear, to appear. To achieve, yeah. so you see in our own case we have 109 senators and what did the constitution or the senate standing order says as it is at it is now the leadership emergence is not clearly stated that it must be based on see, region it, the okay. section 50 of the constitution says section 50 that the Senate president shall be elected amongst these members. So, the, but, I mean, this is a political constitution that we're talking about, Senator. Uh, uh. And you know what happened in 2015 and 2019. Uh. I mean, these are not long ago. Don't forget this. about what happened in 2023. I said it at the point. People want to put it behind. The current president-elect was, was not the, 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 the party's candidate. Was he? That, that scenario could play out to the National Assembly? Yeah. Why you not? have You have 70%. And, and of... let me tell you that I was part of the 2015 that you re-emphasize on. Mm -hmm. I don't think we were rebellious. We only did what we think is right. And I was know. part of it. Unfortunately, when the, we, we got the leadership, and you can remember, I was a Senate leader and I was removed because I went into disagreement with the, the Senate President, then Saraki. Because I told him that was not what we agreed. We did not take the leadership of the National Assembly then to antagonize the executive or engage in fighting unnecessarily. But then I didn't know that Saraki had his own agenda. We are not supposed to fight the executive. We are supposed to oversight them. We are supposed to work interdependently, harmoniously, without compromising the constitutional role of the National Assembly or the Senate, and that is to say to oversight the executive. So where Saraiki wanted to take us into fight with the, uh, with the executive, and I disagreed on that. Like the case of Magu, uh, his uh, confirmation, we started that fight. So I don't want people to be emphasizing uh, that uh, if you allow everybody. No, the president, of course, or anybody can have interest. But, but, but we are senators. Scenario would be Nobody should tell us senator. who is going to lead us. There will be uh, uh, 70 something new senators. Yes. In the 10th National Assembly. Yes. It might not be exactly the same thing. Okay. Let me give you an example. There are 76 new senators. Supposing, Out of the 109. Yeah. Supposing the so you are in the minority. You yeah. Will return we are in one. the minority. No, I'm giving you this scenario. Supposing they put themselves together and then say, this is our Senate president, even before, we, during our days of inauguration, and they agree. Would you say they can't produce the Senate president? Well, the Constitution and the It's not the Senator, Constitution. The no, Constitution. That, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm driving somewhere. The Constitution mm. envisage that there should be inclusiveness. Yeah. And there's a balance of power. Yeah. Now, the, the, if you bring back the, the Which, spread of the power, just for a moment, we have the, the president-elect from the Southwest, mm -hmm. the pre said, uh, vice president-elect 
from the northeastern region of the country, mm. uh, politically speaking, mm. uh, to, to agree. And these both men are Muslims. Mm. And there are also talks in your party that these considerations are to also be, uh, be given prominence, religion and the spread. Yeah. Where do you, which region do you think is right to have the Senate president come from? If you are going by this uh, uh, map that you are doing now, you have the president from uh, southwest. Southwest, you have the vice president from the north. Mm -hmm. Isn't East, it? Yes. Where is the chief justice of the federation coming from? Oh, but but those are not political sentiments. Why not? But these are political. They are, they are political not elected. Sentiment. No, they are not elected. These ones are the elected ones. Uh, the, the vice president was was uh, was was not elected. He was appointed by as his running. But they were on the same ticket. This ah, yeah, but he, he was not taken to the ticket by vote. But if you go to the judiciary, they are not political considerations. Ah, ah, no, but no, they are consideration to the constitution. You are now talking about the constitution and you are trying to drive away. No, from. no, no, no. I'm trying. Don't to be taking. Wait now. If you are taking things you in, should, in this respect, you should take it holistically. Maybe because you want to be Senate president. That's why you are thinking. No, that no, this. no, no. If I had wanted to be Senate president up in without this consideration you know me now mm -hmm. I would have gone out to say I want to be the Senate president but the time is not yet there I can do that why not who, who the Constitution does not stop me from there so what do you think and about now you are bringing Senator? wait now yeah. you are talking about religion in government this government just just passed you forgot about Jonathan was the president he was you know a Christian from South South and the the, um, the Senate president then David Mack was a Christian uh, uh, Madu from Southeast was a Christian, and uh, Ete from Southwest was a Christian. Was it a big deal? But the is times, it now that because uh, the, the times uh, are Africa, different, wait yeah, now. The, the agitations wait, about those are not the, as prominent uh, as Kashim, now. Kashim happens to come from Northeast, who is a Muslim, and then uh, Tunubu uh, happens to come from South. So if you are talking about balancing South and North, which is what we do, okay, you have the CGN from the South, you have the President from the South, now you have the President, uh, the, 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 the Senate President uh, should come from the North, or the speaker should come from the north in order to balance it. Then you take another position that is available to you based on convenience. So that's why I'm saying allow Nigerians to make their choice. They have done that before. Tunubu, when they started, they went to church and shouted above their voice that Muslim, Muslim is not fair in this on that. Then they went for election. Muslims and Christians went for election. Nigerians voted for Tinubu. Now they are shouting and they say, oh, we have won election. I don't want to be talking about the matter because it's in the court. I have never in my, I told you, I was surprised with the performance of Peter Obi. I, I have nothing against him. And I see him, if it is by energy, age, advantage, and all that, as one of those that I have soft spot for because of his, uh, this thing. But uh, he doesn't have it, it, it showed. In, 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 in the north, he was not there. And the, when you are talking about now uh, north-south, Tunubu is not from the north. He won in the north. He performed in some states better than Atiku. People thought that, oh, oh it's Atiku. Atiku is from the north. He didn't win. You can see it. He didn't win. But let, me, let me take you to yet another aspect of this conversation. It's the fact that there is a huge turnover. Yeah. A lot of the uh, lawmakers are not returning. How impactful would that be on governance and lawmaking? Honestly, that is the problem. It's like starting all over again. Uh, when I took the numbers this evening from you, within consultation with you, the returning senators are only 26. Mm -hmm. And in lawmaking, there's no library for you to refer to. There's no handover notes. That means we are starting from this. So price. there's a need for experience. There is a need for experience. But I thought the why are you talking to me? Why, is, why are people, you know, because I've been there for the past 20 years. Some people are now saying, oh, uh, you have been there for a long time. That's why you need to go. It's like uh, Nigerian politics is being turned into something that is turn by turn. And that is what I really wanted to discuss. It's a very bad president. I see people coming to the National Assembly with nothing. And then suddenly because they spend years in the National Assembly, they become rich. Something is wrong. You see several servants living in houses of billions. Nobody asks questions. I've been saying that I came to this program several times and discussed with you. There should be unexplained wealth act 
so that if you display wealth that is not in tandem with their income, you should be investigated and it should be confiscated. And if it is extensive, you should be prosecuted. People should ask questions. Now you see the, what is happening? They are trying to buy the position. The position in the leadership of this country is becoming those that belong to kleptocrats and plutocrats. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Democracy is no longer so there. So they're already planning to buy this position? They are buying it already. Didn't really? you hear the accusation that they are sharing money? Some people think that the more they have, and I was even thinking even in the last in that election, if I had more money, I would have won. It's because you didn't have enough Yeah, money. I don't have money. Hmm. Let, let's look at this list again, Senator. And, and uh, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm looking at the situation now. So we have... Uh, Added your name, Ali Ndume. You have added my name? Yeah, you are the new editor. No, you should put it first, because why did you put it last? Yeah, I'm just hearing about it now. <laughs> so, and I mean, it just was it, the, the uh, deputy speaker, you pass Abraman Olawu uh -huh, from Kuala, uh -huh. his names are added now. So, uh, Senator, uh, on the impact of the younger or the newer lawmakers, what do you think uh, the, the National Assembly will look like in the 10th National Assembly? Ola Tinubu, a former senator. Shikashim Shetima, a sitting senator. Mm. No, they former. understand legislative uh, 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 politics. No. And so. the party chairman, he was a senator. And the Mad Party secretary was a senator. The national, um, uh, national uh, deputy national chairman, North, was a, is a, was a senator. So, so you think that your party should undo the politics of the National Assembly differently? Yeah. In fact, it's already happening differently. These are going to be, a, uh, I said it before at one for uh, that this is going to be a rank of free uh, uh, ad, uh, administration. You know, um, given the, the, the pedigree of our president-elect and the vice president and the chairman and all of us in there, given the fact that even the, the so-called, I would say so-called new senators are not new, Many of them, I think about 20-something, are from the House of Representatives moving over. So they have the experience. We have people coming from, uh, from, from the Houses of Assembly, speakers. We have people that were senators before that are not new. Okpabio uh, is in Aso, uh, and some of these are coming back to the Senate after you know, a Long break. Time, yeah. So it's not going to be, and then when I see it also, the composition is those of very, uh, you know, a senator. You know, they are not uh, small people. All right, Senator, on the final note, just, we just have about 60 seconds to go. What do you think is important for Nigerians to take note uh, of the Tunubu presidency and the 10th National Assembly? How expectant should Nigerians be yeah, I, I, I think Nigeria should put more pressure on us, the senators, and demand for what we are elected to be. We should put Nigeria first and Nigerians' interests first in even determining this so-called leadership that you are talking about. Because as for Senate, you are just a presiding officer. It's supposed to be one among equals, not first among equals. The problem now is we always put a Senate president and say he is first among equals. The rest will now be, you know, uh, distant to his gavel that you give to him. You know, he hits it up any time. But he's supposed to be one among equals. All right. Do you see that the opposition playing and uh, uh, you, uh, playing your, your party out in this? Because they, are, they have more No, numbers. no, no, I don't think so. I don't think, because with the experience we have, experienced people we have in handling matters and the intricacies of the National Assembly game, the chairman, and I don't think they will allow for, right. for that kind of a thing. Senator Alindime, always a pleasure having you around. Now that we know, you will not remove your name on that list. But you need to show that you are really serious about being Senate President. Oh, you need, I need to pass on something to you too. No, 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 not pass on. Because that's the only difference to, when because when the politicians send uh, are, some dollars to other colleagues. So and you then, guys are uh -huh, passing Let dollars, me use really? this opportunity eh? to say for those members. So this is for real? No. no things that we so yeah, I had it too. And you guys I, are I, passing dollars? I, no. I, I, okay, you give me good dollars to pass? No, no I'm asking. Is no, it for real? No, I had that now. We are hearing too. Yeah, I, so I'm hearing, but I've not seen any dollar yet. But right. I think a senator should be more than that.
Right. What I'm expecting from the new senators is that those of us that have interest or have shown interest or those that have not even shown interest and they think they are qualified should engage to be engaged. What right. do you have? All what right. do you want to do as a you, leader of the yeah. 10th Senate? Thanks so much, Senator, for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Andy.